Good morning. My name is Damien Esparza, and I'm a parishioner here at St. Vincent's. My wife, Danielle, and I began attending Mass almost 10 years ago, and our two sons, Oliver and Augustine, have been baptized here are, and are now enrolled in the preschool. Today, I have been asked by Father Alex to speak on behalf of the school and parish appeal and share why it's important for our family to support St. Vincent's. It goes without saying that this year is unlike any other year, and we have been ex experienced tremendous changes to the way we live. Simple things are no longer taken for granted, and the global pandemic has given us pause to reflect on what matters most, our families, our loved ones, and our relationship with Jesus Christ. For us, this relationship with Jesus and the faith formation received starts here at St. Vincent's and our support for the school and parish appeal. Our participation supports the parish ministries that are vital to the mission of St. Vincent de Paul Catholic community, including the celebration of the sacraments, Catholic education for children in our school and preschool, and the ability for the parish to offer masses in a variety of settings, including virtual masses, outdoor masses, and socially distanced indoor masses. St. Vincent de Paul School opened this fall with on-campus learning for its students while providing distance learning options for students opting not to return to campus. Operations have fully resumed at the preschool where they are offering in-person learning for toddlers and young children. This is a blessing to have Catholic fa faculty and staff who are continu continuing to deliver an exceptional academic experience while helping our children form a solid foundation of Catholic faith. All of this has taken place while, helping, while keeping the health and safety of our children, teachers, families, and parishioners as a top priority. Our participation supports the investment in the personal protective equipment and sanitizing supplies. These include air filters, portable sinks, hand sanitizing stations, signage, and enhanced cleaning and disinfecting products and services. Without our support, we know the parish and school could not continue to be here a presence of Jesus Christ in Mission Hills. As disciples, this is our mission, to, God, to know God through the celebration of the sacraments and faith formation we receive, and then to make him known. This is why we support Catholic education. We want to put our children firmly on a grasp and path to holiness so that they one day may also attain heaven. We want them to understand the importance of serving others and contributing to their community. Our participation in the school and parish appeal makes this a reality. It includes tuition assistance for need-based families, science and classroom resources, and technology upgrades like improved internet, additional computers, and cameras. For the preschool, this includes upgrades to their playground with the addition of shade covering and costs related to COVID-19 to meet new licensing regulations. In closing, I invite you to give prayerful consideration to supporting the parish and school appeal. St. Vincent de Paul reminds us that each of us lives in the freedom of God's love and has the opportunity to share what God has provided us. We support the school and parish knowing God's love for us is unconditional and our, our desire to give back comes from a place of gratitude and, to and our desire to ensure that the sustainability and future growth of this, continue, of this community continues. We pray you will do the same. There are envelopes in the back and we, vi we, we encourage you to visit, visit the parish website and you can donate online there. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, David. So if you remember, we started the appeal two years ago, this kind of joint uh, parish and school appeal, and basically one of the first goals was just to uh, reduce the amount of times we ask for money, you know, because we're not supposed to, that's not our job, right, as disciples. Um, uh, and then that way, whatever comes up throughout the year, we ask just one time with the appeal, even if it's, you know, the normal diocesan uh, annual appeal comes out usually in February. But actually, the, the, the goal for us is not to even have to ask for that, but just all the money that comes in, we just budget it, pay that off basically to the diocese. They're, they're 
they usually give us around a thirty thousand dollar assessment every year. Um, so the, and whatever else comes up, if we need canopies, if something else breaks, if something else happens, instead of asking you, asking you, asking you all throughout the year for different things as they come up that are over and above the, the general offerings, our, our goal, first goal, is just to uh, have one appeal, and we just budget that throughout the rest of the, of the year, and don't need to ask any more than that one time. Obviously, the best goal that we have, too, long term, is just um, as offering in, just increases, general offerings increase, than just to budget that correctly, so we wouldn't even need to ask for an appeal. You know, we Damien also helped us, his company, give us an uh, incredible deal on a site survey for our whole campus and all the buildings and everything, uh, so that we can basically kind of build our general building maintenance into our into our, our regular monthly budget and just be saving for that. So when the roof breaks or something, the church falls down or whatever happens at one day, we don't have to do a capital campaign. You know, so a lot of churches just wait for those big things to happen to do a capital campaign. Instead of waiting for that, we're, we work with Damien and his company to help us just put that into our budget now and be saving so we have a special just building account so when the roof does break, we don't need a capital campaign. We're already prepared, you know. Uh, so, you know, I was a Boy Scout, you know. So be prepared is the motto, you know. And, and Damien was so helpful just to help us get that into our budget to be prepared. Nobody likes having to, nobody, I don't like asking and I don't, I don't like hearing uh, that I need money, money, money all the time, you know, so uh, that's our long-term goal, not even to have to ask, just as, as, as the Holy Spirit's moving you to give throughout the year with the general offerings, we're just budgeting and putting that in a responsible way, being good stewards, and we're ready for whatever, whatever comes, so that, that's our long-term goal, our first goal to get there is just to try to unite all the asks into one ask with this par annual parish appeal and budget with that, so Thank you for your generosity. I know a lot of people have stepped up so much this year, just with their uh, a lot of with their times and setting up different things and volunteering with extra money, knowing that we had extra expenses come up already with COVID and canopies and different things like that. So thank you so much for all your all, your generosity and time already uh, and, and giving. Um, and hopefully we won't have to ask you again until next year, huh? <laughs> <laughs>